Tell mommy we finally got doo doo. We finally got doo doo. Ooh, stanky baby. What's up, YouTube? And welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about why I was readmitted back to the hospital after giving birth to my little baby. So if you want to see that, stay tuned. And y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're feeling like it, share the video. Thank you. All right, so let's get into it. So, Willow, my baby, she was born on that Wednesday. On that Thursday, they sent me home. Everything was great. The Thursday was my birthday. My husband uh, bought a cake from a bakery. And we pretty much, you know, sung happy birthday, ate a meal, did everything like a family do. And then that was the end of that. I was having, I was feeling tired and kind of like dizzy that day. But I thought it was because I just hadn't got rest. I had been in the hospital. I had just gave birth. So I'm not suspicious of anything on Thursday. Okay, carry on. Here comes Friday. So on Friday, all of a sudden, it's like, I don't know. It just took a whole U-turn. I started feeling so bad. I still hadn't got a whole bunch of rest, but I had enough rest. I knew I shouldn't have been feeling like that. Like, I felt extremely tired, so exhausted. And on top of that, I was having a lot of uh, cramping pain. Before I was discharged from the hospital, my doctor told me that I would have pain. So, the newborn, Willow, she's laying on the sofa. And I go to lay down on the sofa. And I'm just like, oh my God. Like, I don't even want to get up. I'm like, it's time now for me to pump, breastfeed, do something with her. And I do not want to get up. Not because I'm so tired, but all of a sudden I'm feeling so bad. So I'm thinking in my mind, I'm like, I have to feed my child. You know, I have to. This is her source of nutrition. So I need to go find out what is going on with me. So I sit myself up. I'm trying to self-assess. I'm like, okay, I'm tired, but I'm having chills. So the first thing that I do is grab the little... um magnet that they give you from the hospital it says save your life okay so i'm looking at this magnet right and i'm like okay going down the list one side say call 911 the other side says call your um physician so i'm like once again i have all my kids here my husband is here i'm finally home from the hospital I don't want to go to no hospital. I don't want to call 911. But I'm feeling like I am about to pass out and hit the floor. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Not today. Stop. Go down. It's a temperature of 100.4. Point four. My temperature was 107 initially. Okay. So I take Tylenol and I call my physician. I let her know everything that I'm having. I list my symptoms. And I say I have chills. I'm having a fever. I have right upper gastric pain. I'm having the cramping, the um uterus pain. Uterine pain. Uh, What else? I'm having a headache. My ears hurt and my throat hurt. I was like barely able to, to walk. So she was like, go to the ER. The lady was... Go to the ER. Wait, stop. I just came from the hospital yesterday. Go to the ER. I'm like, oh my God, am I going to die? Like, so many black moms die after giving birth. And I'm like, so I get to the hospital, to the emergency room. I go back to the hospital where I originally had the baby, of course. And I'm there. And... I feel like I have an even bigger clout in my head. So I'm barely able to walk. Um, they call my name to come back. They triage me, like check all my vitals. Immediately they brought me to the back because I still had a temp. At this point, my temp had came down to 102. 
like that. So, oh, bam. Know. Long story short. So, everything I told to that nurse, I told it to the next nurse again. So, she was like, okay, make sure that you tell the doctor everything that you're telling me. Say no more, my girl. Of course I am. So, she like, um, I got to draw your blood, get urine. Like, of course, I already knew all that. Like, duh. Because y'all got to figure out what's wrong with me. It was going on. So, we get through all of that. The doctor come in and assess me. They do everything. Uh, uh. A CT scan, they do a chest x ray, they take a COVID test on me, they do a COVID test on me. So basically, I'm I'm asking a nurse, I'm like, so what we got going on? She like, oh, they working you up to see if you have sepsis or COVID. I'm like, okay, cool. All right, okay, okay. So I'm in an emergency room. You know they don't have no bathrooms in there. I'm postpartum. So I have to keep walking to the restroom down the hall, trying to walk to the restroom down the hall. It was difficult for me to even like lift my legs all over again. And I'm like, oh, hell no. So, so the ED physician comes in and he tells me, um, okay, everything came back. You don't have anything like nothing is present, which I have the patient portal. So you're able to see your labs. As they come in, like, as soon as they see the labs, after the doctor reviews the labs, I believe that you able to see them right after that. So, I was checking my labs right along with him. As he checking them, I'm checking them too. So, I'm like, okay, I see that nothing is, like, um, everything is within normal limits. Like, everything is. So, then the doctor coming up and he like, oh, you have endometriitis. What? You have endometriitis. We're going to do a pelvic exam on you, but you're going to have to be admitted for at least two. You know what? I'm going to let the doctor that's going to do the pelvic exam explain all that to you. But thank you. Thank you very much. Toodaloo. So then a female doctor comes in. I guess she was with the OBGYN team. And she's like, um, you know, um, we believe that you have endometriitis. Okay. And we need to, the treatment for that is to get IV antibiotics. The two antibiotics that we want to give you is gentamicin and clindamycin. And we need to give those to you um, overnight. Do you have any allergies to those? I'm like, no. She was like, well, great, because those work perfectly. You should only be here for um two days, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, okay, good. Y'all know what's going on with me. Fine. And we have a treatment plan, so Fine. What's not fine is that I have to be away from my newborn baby, my preteen that I already been away from for two days, and my toddler. So I'm like, and my damn husband who's at home trying to take care of everything, trying to cook, take care of the newborn, do all this other stuff like that. So I'm like, oh my God, this is just too much. So they finally get me upstairs to a room and well, they initiated the antibiotics in the ED. So they started the antibiotics in the ED and they rolled me upstairs and I get admitted to the unit. So I'm admitted to the unit. The nurses were amazing. Oh my God. The nurses were heaven sent. They were um, just sweet as pump, sweet potato pie. Because I don't eat pumpkin pie. Sweet as sweet potato pie. They were awesome. They were amazing. They definitely made the journey much easier for me. It's nothing that I could call for because they was already doing everything and giving me everything. So I'm there. <laughs> the lady was like, you need to take your boots off because you're going to be here a while. And I'm like, I'm looking at her like, girl, I don't want to say nothing off because I don't want to be here for one. But I'm like, okay, I need to get my treatment. Like, you know, so come on crazy. Take off the boots. Stop acting crazy and take off the boots and um get yourself together for this lady cuz session. So I'm just so devastated. So I'm like crying all night long. <sighs> but I'm trying to be strong for my family, you know, not just my husband and my children, but my mom, my brothers, cousins, and all this other stuff like that. I'm like, you know, I'm trying to be strong for them, but inside I just feel like a tornado. Like, you know, like I cannot of course. see. I'm on YouTube, Google, Googling endometriitis, uh, inflammation of one of the um, layers of the uterus. So I'm like, how do I get endometriitis? I'm like, 
I don't have none of these symptoms. Only thing that I do have is the pain. Only thing that I do have is that I had a baby and I have pain. I don't have any foul smelling discharge. I don't have, um, like nothing else that they were saying. So I'm like, what's going on? And the only thing that was my vitals was my, my, uh, temperature was up and my heart rate was up, but I'm, I'm thinking, of course, my heart rate is going to be up when I have a high temperature. So, I, so they treated me. Oh, well, baby, little Willow needs something. Uh, well, all the Friday, like Friday was over. It was Saturday. So here we go. Saturday, antibiotics, temperature is normal. I'm like 98.5. Come Saturday night, my temperature spikes. It goes back up to 101 so on saturday morning the doctor came in and told me oh if you do good and your temperature is fine we're going to see you home on sunday so i'm like okay so when i saw that my temperature spiked on saturday i started crying again because i'm like i gotta stay here again but at the same time once again i want to be compliant and i want to live so yes give me my antibiotics for this endometriitis y'all say i have so I'm like, yes, I'm sad because I'm away from my family, but at the same time, I need to receive treatment. <sighs> All of this YouTube and Google got me going crazy. You okay? You gonna let me live? <laughs> so, um... All of that had hey, my mind just in a whirlwind. So, they had to give me some more sleeping medicine again. And I'm just like... Asking is all of this stuff safe while breastfeeding, you know. So the lactation nurse, she was able, she was great. She um told me that there's a book. Well, they looked the medications up to see how safe it was, and plus I was looking it up myself, and everything was safe that I was receiving. So that's the one thing I was really happy about. So the doctor comes in on Sunday, and he's like, um. Well, I spoke with your doctor, and uh, they don't think that it's endometriitis. She thinks that you have a bladder infection. So I'm like, okay, I'm still trying to figure out um, why, how is it, like, you know, what's going on? It was like, they never did a vaginal exam on me. That's one of the things they do to tell you if you have endometriitis. They never did it. They never did it. Nope. Never happened. Never did a vaginal exam and gonna tell me that I have something like that. Never. Nobody in the, in the ED saw my vagina. I was fully clothed the whole time. No one assessed me like that. For y'all to be giving me a diagnosis like that, but I'm thinking, you know, I'm all over the place. I never even considered that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, okay. Even on imaging, my uterus looked fine for a person who just had a baby. Like, it was fine. Like, so it wasn't nothing abnormal. So I'm just looking like, y'all don't stress me out all these days for something I don't even have. And all I have is a goddamn bladder infection. But they're like, we're still going to keep you until Monday. Of course, you sure not about to let me go home. And no, well, no, my husband would have came and got me. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, let's continue the course since y'all don't know y'all left from y'all right. Let's continue the course of antibiotics just in case. And yeah, I go home Monday morning. But they wasn't going to let me go home. It was like late that Sunday night. They wasn't going to let me go home. They was like, you'll receive the rest of these antibiotics. So that would have been um, a whole two days, which is usually the treatment for the endometriitis. So I received that treatment as well. Well, that, that was then uh, Monday morning. And my doctor's like, like I just said, she did the vaginal exam. She said, you're going to go home with seven days of antibiotics. So I was just like, baby. Baby, these boots are made for walking. I put the boots back on, honey. I'm sitting on that bed like, hello? So, that is the reason why I was readmitted back to the hospital after having my baby. We, we, we too great to be dying out like that, doing something so natural, giving birth. We, we too great for that. So, let's take care of ourselves. So we can take care of our families. Thank y'all so much for watching. And y'all know I love y'all. And appreciate all the love. The likes and the comments. Thank y'all so very much.